Welcome once again guys in my YouTube channel Ligayang pagdating sa aking YouTube channel Today we're going to test Aircon capacitor And this one is 40 UF 450 VAC While this one guys Is 50 UF A 450 VAC also The other one here is a 12 UF 440 VAC and papakita ko sa inyo kung paano ito i-test itong isa guys is pag pinaikot ko nag spin siya ibig sabihin ito ay bloated na at ito ay dead na this one here guys is once I put it on top on a flat surface it will spin because this one is a bloated and it's a dead capacitor while this two here is still flat it's still flat now I'm going to show you first by using analog multimeter and they said by using this one they can see if it is a leaky or a shorted and a good capacitor and let's try that let's try with this one guys with the 40 UF umpisa natin sa 40 UF gamit ang analog multimeter at ang good daw guys is dapat malakas ang palo nya at babalik din dito they said that a good capacitor should deflect more then it goes back to zero and this one guys is a good capacitor and take a look what will happen okay it deflect here then it go goes back it deflect siya ng konti at bumalik ngayon babalita rin ko lang yung test prod ko I'm going to invert my test prod and look what is the deflection okay the deflection goes to 250 and it goes back next tignan naman natin to guys kung malakas ang deflection nya okay kanina umabot tayo dito sa 100 at bumalik nung pinalitad ko pumalo sa 250 at bumalik ngayon balit tarik ko naman ito tignan natin kung madadagdagan ok same same kahit balit tarik ko and next with the defective let's see if the defective we still uh, got a deflection Okay, the defective doesn't have a deflection. Ayan. Which of these two is, is still good? As I mentioned a while ago, this one is good. How about this one? And to, to check this properly, guys, use a multimeter which has a capacitant reading because if this one already changed its value so the compressor will not pump properly if the capacitor is being changed its value or if it's totally dead the air conditioner either in a split type or a window type or a cassette type as long as it is an inverter the evaporator fan motor will operate and the condensing fan mo motor also will spin but the compressor will not going to start well see right to ang ating aircon mapa split type man or window type kapag ito ay an inverter once na defective na hindi aandar ang kanyang compressor although umandar ang kanyang evaporator fan motor at ang kanyang condenser fan motor 
and gagamit tayo guys ng tester and this is a multimeter now just select it to capacitant reading and we are now in the capacitant reading this is nanofarad and let's begin with the defective one and I'm gonna show you if the defective we still have a reading okay this is a non-polar wala po itong polarity okay we got 35 nanofarad see it's totally dead it's totally dead now let's begin let's also check so guys this defective na talaga dahil ayan uh, sa aming mga technician isang gamit ang aming screwdriver tatapatang namin ng ganito makikita namin na nakaumbok na ito yan this is the visible check up once we check the unit it's a floated capacitor it's a dead capacitor while a good capacitor see it's a flat i-check naman natin to guys pag i-check natin ito ito kanina ang last and deflection niya tingnan natin kung tama bang 40 UF siya ayan at nakareading tayo ng 40.2 gamit ang kanyang tolerance pasok siya meron siyang tolerance guys na plus minus 5% at ito ay and at ito ay 12 UF at papakita ko sa inyo na pag ginamit natin to sa ginamit natin to mag spin pa rin yung ating fan motor ginagamit to sa mga tanner guys ito na ito na lada na dito ginagamit yung capacitor na yan Ayan, tignan natin kung I'm gonna check this 12 UF and let's see if the tester detect that this is still a 12 UF okay we only got 3.02 UF therefore pag ginamit natin ito mahina na ang spin ng ating fan mode. Take note guys using analog multimeter the deflection of this one is already uh, weak and napatunayan natin na weak siya by using capacitor reading while ito guys nung ginamitan natin ng ano, may deflection ito na napakalakas at uh, napatunayan naman natin na good pati siya so both pwede nyo gamitin okay pwede nyo gamitin ang analog set nyo lang sa times 1k times 10 or times 1 na uh, sa inyo kung sa inyo gusto um, 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 um. so napatunayan ko sa inyo guys na using the capacitant I prefer na bumili kayo ng ganito oh at i-review nito yung kanyang value kung ito pa ba ay good o hindi na good para sa mga papsi dyan para di kayo maloko ng mga technician ng mga work technician it's better na kayo na lang ang mag check nito bili na lang kayo nito to worth 2k lang ito I prefer guys that you should buy this once you have air conditioner in your home you can use it a multiple purpose whatever you want you want to measure a voltage you are also an electronic enthusiast you can you should buy this one so the aircon technician will not fool you and they will not charge you once you have that one and you should do it 
the replacement you can do that by yourself uh, and as I already said in Tagalog either you have this one no need to buy this one as before earlier of the video when I use this one the deflection is very strong meaning that this capacitor is still okay because it's a 40 UL and when we use this digital the value is still 40 and it has a point too uh, Dito, this one is a 12 UF and now the remaining is only a 3 UF uh, and earlier in the video I show you that the deflection is uh, not strong that's why the capacitance is not strong if you like my video guys please support me by clicking subscribe button and notification bell so you will be updated just in case I even upload video thanks for watching God bless